Today is the day we upgrade the table. I mean, today better be the day. <laughs> Welcome to the channel. We have a few new subscribers at the moment. So if you are new here, my name is Ricky and I buy and sell junk online, flip it for a profit, whether it's eBay. I don't care. In fact, I don't care where the money comes from. If I can flip it, I'll flip it. And I don't care where I buy it from. If I can buy it low enough, I will buy it. <laughs> uh, that's a synopsis of what I do basically. At some point today, I am going to be upgrading the working table to a nice long one, which is perfect for me. But it also has height adjustment. Mechanically, you press a button and bzzz, press a button and bzzz, oh, I'm buzzing for that. My back is in pieces. So I'm really looking forward to getting that here today. You, if you've seen the previous videos, you know there was drama with delivery. I misread the instructions. One piece arrived and I was confused. Turns out they send it in two with two different companies, the bottom and then the top. The tabletop is actually 23 kilos, so I understand why they chose FedEx. But anyway, hopefully we <laughs> hopefully that comes today. As always, firstly, we will jump straight into some sales that we've had. If we've had any at all, my eBay's been diabolical. But that's all down to me. It's my fault, my problem. Let's have a look. Immediately from yesterday's video, I think it was yesterday's that you saw. It would have been yesterday's. We have sold... 301 XL. I bought three for a fiver and I've sold this one for £15.29. Ink, if it's priced rightly, will sell almost as immediately as you list it. So three for a fiver, 250 well, so owes me about £1.75. A lot of low value stuff now because if you remember from a few previous videos, I told you I have ended lots of stuff, adjusted the prices and sold similar just to get them gone. And finally, this has sold. I've had this for so long now. £5.95 is a lovely Winnie the Pooh mouse. It works. It's got the PS2 adapter and the whatever you call it. Not PlayStation 2, PS slash 2. £5.95. I paid £2.50 for that, so I've lost money. Lost money, but gained a valuable lesson. Oh, we finally sold one of those. Something sounded broken then. Three pounds each, I bought two of these. These are Ikea mirrors. They're quite small, really nice sort of stone colored mirrors. Sold for 12 pound plus postage, which is 14 pounds 99, all in. Mirror, mirror on the wall. In fact, can't be doing with that kind of truth today. Box L, I've not seen Box L for ages. JKL, Box L's down there. Ah, it's a problem, isn't it? Box L is behind all this and that. Can't wait till that table gets here. My life is up in the air at the minute. Any more in L before I get down there? L and M, okay, L. What is L? What actually even one am I looking for? Okay. We got it. Exoterra Terrain Water Dish. 2002, I think that is. Copyright 2002. £5.40, all in. Box M, that looks very much over there as well. Oh my God. Oh, yeah. Sonstrom 2 meter HDMI cable sold for £6. Free shipping. £6.30, actually. We're clearing out all of the low value stuff at the minute. Oh, where's I? Fuck's sake. For £8.99, sold within 10 minutes of listing it is this USA rocket themed wind sock. You just put it onto a pole in the wind. It looks like that when it's on the air. Oh, we finally sold this. It's been kicking around for eight. There it is. Been looking for that. A very expensive game indeed. But that's not what, that's not what we was after, but I'm very happy with that. I can list that today. Um. What was I saying? Yeah, Baco building stuff. Loads of it here. I, I was really expecting 50, 60, 70 quid for that. It wasn't shifting at 75, 50, 45. It wasn't shifting at anything. So I've sold it for £22.50 free postage. It's going to be about six quid to post that as well because it's very heavy. Just, I don't know. I think because I hadn't checked it all completely, I just put, it looks like there's a lot there. I'll just spread it all out. Well, that's all the sales for eBay today. And there is nothing for Vinted. So I'll get those packed up now. Hopefully that kill a little bit of time. My delivery is expected between 8.50 and 12.50. And the time is now 
9.15. I just want it so I can get this garage back to some normality because uh, looks like Steptoe and Son's living room. Nothing to do with you, Sonny. I mean the original Steptoe and Son. But yeah, what a score. Been looking for that. Master of Darkness. Spenny game, that. Ideally, yes, I'm watching myself well, right. because I like to review my yeah. videos after. I like to see yeah. what everyone else yeah. is seeing. It's Assassin's good Creed, for Star quality Wars. control. Tropico 5. Just had another sale come through while we are working on packing the other stuff. And it is, of course, it's another ink. I told you, they, they fly out. They sell so fast. £14.99. I priced mine two or three quid cheaper than the market and I turn offers off. I don't give anyone a chance to use offers, especially when I'm running a coupon. With ink anyway. Ink, I never have offers. Because if you price it correctly, it will sell and it will sell fast. So I'm already about 20 quid into profit and I've got one ink left to sell. Lovely. And also, Lee, I've just had your message on eBay about the clock. Unfortunately, I can't respond to that message. If you message me on eBay asking me questions, guys, especially about stuff, I can't answer it because it's classed as um, dealing outside of the platform. So I can't do that. So I have to just ignore those messages, unfortunately. But I do have my Instagram down below and my email address and also comments here. Comments I might miss some, but email and Instagram, I'll get it. I am not even joking. I've just put the phone down after telling you about that ink and the last one has gone. So then that three for a fiver that I showed you yesterday, that's gone as well for 26 99 all in. So they obviously can't use the coupon code. So 15 plus 15 plus 26. So let's say give or take 60, 50. I've made about 40 quid profit on that fiver in less than 12 hours. Beautiful. And I've still got the other really, really expired inks to list. They're all expired, apart from one of them in October. They're expired May, March, and then one's in October. These other ones are really expired, but I paid two quid for them. So that and, and they will still sell for strong money. Lovely. Right, these last two, this building stuff and the IKEA clock, I've started to pack it. Not IKEA clock, IKEA mirror. But my cardboard is sort of spread over and I can't get at it until that table gets here. I'm pretty much stuck for working when it comes to the big stuff. So I'm not going to stress myself out. They don't have to go out today. I'll do them probably this evening once the table's done. But they can go back on the shelf for now. And I think I'll work on listing some more of this stuff from yesterday. Because that needs to go up regardless. I'm going to be here until the tabletop comes. I'm not going anywhere. So I might as well get busy. Just a bit of realism for you now. I just sat down ready to do some work. Popped onto Instagram quickly to see what was kicking off. And uh, I just wasted 15 minutes on there. One of the things you've got to be careful of when you are your own boss is accountability for your actions and for your workload. Because it's so easy to fall into a trap of, that's all right, nobody's on my case. You need to be on your own case. <laughs> Let's do some work. Although it looks like work is about to have to wait. Could that be? Oh no, that's DHL. We don't care about DHL. So as always, first thing is first, we pick a box that has some space, which I'm going to choose F today. And I'll take a picture of that. And then it's in the beginning of my camera roll. So it'll say box F, it'll show that. And then all the pictures after that will be what's in box F. And then when that gets full, I'll pick another box, take a picture of that. And obviously as I take pictures, I'll put them into the box. And then I know when it comes to my camera roll, all the pictures after that are in box D. So I know where to screw the stuff. I'm sure that makes sense to the majority of you. And I'm sure there's a simpler way than that. But that way just works for me. Works a dream. Let's get moving. So these are what I picked out first. Just because they're really easy. A couple of snaps, couple of snaps, couple of snaps. And a couple of snaps. And then that is another bulk of stuff that's balancing up here. That can go away. And then I'll probably move on to... Well, no, these, all these clothing will get hung up over there. I'm still waiting to hear back from 99 Vintage. Not too sure if he's going to take them or not. If not, I'm going to list them myself on tuesday and then i've got a bag over there of stuff that you probably would have seen by now from another car boot so i think you've seen it i'm not too sure but let's just get on crack on and get these done and there we go that didn't take any time at all a couple of minutes if that i did get stuck on the mario kart couldn't get the sticker off the front and it was blinding me up i just abandoned shipping the end i got the price off but it's not going to affect the value one of the other benefits of this table when it arrives which i've already taken into consideration is listing clothing at the moment i struggle but this is quite thin i think the new one's going to come out to about here which honestly makes a massive difference for t-shirts 
and the length of it. So if I do a picture from here, I can't really get much in. But if I've got a long one, and then, I, then I can go higher and I can crop it all out and that'll be a good picture. So I'm looking forward to that side of things as well. Hello. So these are the Cos joggers sweatpants. I'm going to get listed. Get them up now. There was a few little marks and stuff on them, but I'll, I'll mention that in the listing. Not like anything that won't come out. They'll be easy peasy. So what I'm going to do now is break the dip and I'm going to get a little bit of listing done because otherwise I'll be bored. That's why my brain works. I've learned to work in line with my brain now. So I'll photograph, what, eight pieces, nine pieces. I'll quickly get those up now. Then I'll probably start working on another video that I've got for the other car boot sale that needs to come out. So I'll probably do... 15, 20 minutes on that and then stop that. And then hopefully that's killed a bit of time. And then then hopefully that's killed a bit of time and the table's here. <sighs> Moving that table there, the base, and then knowing I've got 23 kilos to come, if I build it outside, there's no way I'm getting that in here on my own. So what I need to try and do is find a way to build it in here and then lift it up. But I haven't got the space for that. I just don't have the space for that. So I think it is just a matter of build it outside and just hope and pray that my next one neighbor comes home and maybe he can help me maybe he might consider it hopefully we'll see well let's get some listing done so we're just editing today's video you wait until you see this clip here absolutely mental i had no idea what happened here but it worked out incredibly in my favor well i said i was going to do a little bit of the editing but once I get stuck in, I'll get stuck in and I've managed to finish that video. So that one's done and it is now 10 past 11. So I've still got another hour and a bit before the geezer for the table is over his deadline. So we've done the postage. We've done some photographs. I've done the editing. I'm now going to get some of those drafts up. That should kill another half an hour. I hope. I can hear a van. FedEx. FedEx. FedEx! Oh, yeah! Has to be. Has to be. I'm going to go and help him. Looks like a big boy, though. I'm sure I'll manage. Do you need a hand with that, mate? Do you want a hand? He's a strong man. That's all good, mate. That's a light one, don't worry. Was it 23 kilos, I think? Uh, you got no idea. Maybe it's less than that. I don't think it is. It says 23 by isn't it? That's light, isn't it? Yeah, that's light. Yeah. All good? You yeah, need a picture or anything? Thank no you, mate. I appreciate cheers. it. Cheers, mate. So that's going to be the new workspace size. Couldn't have been better timing. I've just literally finished editing that video and adding the tweaks to it, the final tweaks, and now rendering it. And now I've got my table to build, but <laughs> let's go. So I am going to be filming a TikTok video for this as well. So I need to chop and change. So you're going to see most of the build here. I think what I'm going to do is build it outside and worst case scenario is I'll just chuck a sheet over it until until someone gets here to help me put it in the garage or I'll grab somebody. <laughs> so I've decided to enlist the help of the E7 building video. It's a nice step by step guide. Hopefully it's not going to take too long. Power drill, screwdriver. Let's get unpacking. Now I'm not going to bore you with an unpacking video. Everybody knows how to open a box, but uh, pfft, here it is. <laughs> Here's a time lapse. There is a lot here. Oh boy. I want you to bear in mind that every time there's a video cut here, I'm actually turning the camera around and doing a TikTok clip. <laughs> I don't know how I managed. I don't know how I did it. I did it though. So I guess the best thing to do is get everything out and just lay it out in phases. Power pack. Okay. Lots of free packaging for me to reuse. That has to be one of the legs. One leg and two legs. There's just more stuff everywhere. <laughs> more stuff. More stuff. You know, I thought it was over, but there's more stuff. I think that's the cable tray management. Okay, that's empty. Move that out of the way. So I'm guessing or hoping the screws are in one of these boxes somewhere. Because otherwise, I've got no screws. I love it when they come like that. A, B, C, D. Normally you get them just all lobbed into a bag. Perfect. Is that it? No, what's that? Oh yeah, the control. We're going to need that, aren't we? Looking forward to this. What's in here? The plug, UK edition. That's good. 
I'll pull that in there for a minute. Right, so I've pulled everything out and now I just need to watch the video. We're ready to begin assembly. It should be easy. You will need a few tools. I've got the tools, baby. Place them on either end with the bar. Okay. So I'm gonna get a box. What they've done, which is quite clever, is taken these two boxes and used them as like work plinths. So you lay these down and put the thing on top. So that's what I'm gonna do. Grommets facing up, which is that way. Again, with the black grommets facing upward. Okay. Now, secure them together. So it wants me to take these two brackets first. Okay, so they're, they're that way. Are they that way? The black grommets. Yeah, they're facing that way. So I've got to secure them with an A screw, which is one of these. Contact the There we go. That's that one on. And I'm filming for a TikTok, so I have to keep going back and turning the turning the camera. Pain. It's fine. Screws. Make sure that the motors. Okay. <laughs> Let's get the legs on. Make sure they're facing this way. Basically, it's just going to go in here like this. Okay, we almost had some trauma. I thought I'd done it upside down for a second, but I hadn't. I'm so annoyed that I haven't got. A... I wonder if this cross head will fit into my power drill. Actually, but it will. But it will. Yeah, boy. I'm obviously too strong. I've squashed the boxes. All right, time for the feet. I think we're going to nail this, to be honest. easier using the X screwing. Okay. I'm sure I can manage to put eight screws in. Okay. What is next use some of the cardboard from the packing material to protect the desktop from the floor okay so it's actually time to attach it to the desktop how heavy is this now quite heavy how heavy is that quite heavy i think i am going to attach it out here and then just hopefully i can shimmy it in somehow so that's it really just I've lined it up this side. All I've got to do now is go around and put all of the screws in and then loosen the middle and pull it out and do the same to the other side, then put the tray on and we're done. So I'll get that done and I'll come back to it because that's going to be repetitive of that. All right, now it's time for me to put the controller on. So I've gone for a right-handed juice. I think when I flip it, yeah, it's going to be right-handed. So we'll stick that on, get that on there. The holes are already pre-made. Sweet. Right, now we've got to connect it up. This one has a second cable because it's got a, a USB port on it. And on either side of these... Okay, that's the legs. Let me get the legs done. Sweet. Easy. Piece of cake. Everything's self-explanatory. This video is honestly like having your dad sitting next to you saying, right, do this, do that. So easy. Right, cable tray. Who's from B? B. Nice. Easy. There we go. Obviously, you've got to push your cables in first, make sure they're nice and tidy. This is so simple. I'm sweating though. This is like muggy weather. But the table's done. Just got to tighten that up and turn it around. I'll do that in just a second. And I've got a few screws left, which is worrying. There we go. That was a piece of cake to make. Now, all I've got to do just find some space in there, otherwise I am screwed. <laughs> Let me get tidied up first out here though. Well, I've cleared the space, but I am on my own. So I wouldn't recommend anybody, look at that, I am roasting. I wouldn't recommend anybody do this on their own, but what I'm gonna do, I've cleared away, I'm just gonna drag it through. If you've got help, get the help. Recommend doing that on your own. I'm 
can use a cardboard, a bit of cardboard as a slider. Oops. Obviously I can't be trapping myself in. Put the sweat on it. I'm sorry guys, but it is what it is. Oh, we're in. We're in. Oh, lucky, lucky. We're in. We're in. Let's get this done. Uh. We're in. Oh, what's that on? We have a light. <laughs> oh, ye beauty. Oh, ye beauty. Ye absolute beauty. I mean, I'm never going to need it this high, am I? But it's there if I want it. Oh, so good. So, so good. Come and look at this. Now, of course, there is no, there could be a few reasons for me to go that high, but I don't really need to. That is beautiful and it is sturdy. What height is that at the moment? It is at height one, two, three, I'm guessing 1.23 meters. Now there is presets. In fact, in fact look, if I press sitting down, I bet, I bet it will go. Oh no, I haven't set them yet. Let's go down. Lovely. So I think this is the kind of height that I would have it at. The hardest part was getting it in. Because obviously I'm on my own. I'm sweating buckets. Let me change my t-shirt. There we go. Some dodgy continuity there, but it has to be done. So I told you, I'm going to be brutally honest, as always, with these reviews. I'd never lie to you when a company sends me something to review. I've got no faults. It was the most easiest thing to put together I've ever put together. And I've put together IKEA, B&M, all sorts of different build-it-yourself kits. I've done it all. Wardrobes, beds, cabinets, everything. This was the most simplest with the instructions. I didn't even look at the book, so God knows what the actual instruction booklet's like. If it's as easy as the video, you'll all be sweet. But don't even need to look at the instructions. There's a geezer from FlexiSpot who's done a video, and it's the most simplest thing in the world. So that was how I followed it so well. Now, of course, I'm going to use underneath here for some storage as well. So I need to work out what height I'm never going to go to as low as. Low as and then obviously the sky's the limit on that. But looks, build, and how simple it is. I can't, you can't go wrong. And it is sturdy. I went for the bamboo back frame, 180 by 80. If you take a look at Flexi Spots website, there is a massive array of stuff on there. Tables, different table tops, so you can choose your own style. You can choose your own color on the bottom. I think it's a mixture of black or white, I believe. There are sizes and styles to suit everybody. Cause I was looking on there myself. When they sent me the email, I mentioned to them that I was actually looking at the Flexi Spot table. I was considering purchasing one. So when you messaged me, it was the perfect time, I said. So that was just perfect timing at its finest. So my end thoughts, it looks smart, it functions, it goes up and down, that's what it's supposed to do. The build is strong and it was a piece of cake to do, so easy. Obviously I've only just put it up so I've not used it for very long, but it's a table that goes up and down. What more could I expect from it? What could possibly go wrong? So from all of that, 
I have to give it a 10 out of 10. I have to. I love it, it's beautiful. Beautiful. So now obviously I've got to play with it and try and figure out what my heights and stuff are going to be. Well, I don't think I'm ever going to go this low. I think the lowest I'm probably going to go It's probably there, so if I mark my wall line, that's probably where I'm gonna go. Sick, can't say any more about it. Check out Flexi Spot, link is in the description down below. Go and see if there's a table there that can suit your needs and upgrade your working life and save you back. That's all I'm doing this for. Right, let's crack on and finish some work. So it turns out after all that, I didn't even need the drill. Not, not really, not really, you don't need a drill. I would suggest a multi-tool kit though with some Allen key screwdrivers. I didn't even use the one they gave because after all of the flat pack stuff that I've built, the Allen keys, they work, but it's just not great. So didn't even need it. All of my cardboard and packing material has just literally slipped straight back under there. Even better, I've got leg room now as well and even more space to pack my stuff. I'm never gonna go as low as that top piece of cardboard ever because that's lower than my actual table was before. And I can actually kick my legs under. Yeah, cool. Sweet. We'll do a bit of listing in a minute and see how much easier it is. Obviously, I've got to have a quick little sort out in there first anyway. I'm not going to bore you. Hopefully, I've managed to cut down that building of the table to maximum two minutes for you guys. Maximum. Might be a bit long, I'm not sure. I haven't done any editing yet. I had to keep filming for this, then going back, turning the camera, filming for TikTok, going back, Turning back again. Now I know that I would have been upside down for that bit because camera doesn't auto rotate, but that was hard work. That was the hardest part of building that table was honestly filming it. <laughs> I'm not gonna waste this opportunity to not have a little sort out of the garage. Now all the stuff's been pulled out and outside. Was I figure it out anyway? So I'm gonna do that. Oh well, hey, we have a winner. Alex has commented. There's a box of giveaways. And has claimed his five, pack five packets of Pokemon cards. They will be on their way to you, my friend. Congratulations and keep an eye out for the next competition. I've just been very busy, that's all. I've, I will run one soon and it's going to be the DS next. Whatever I do next, it's going to be the DS. Congrats, Alex. So I've just been doing a couple of little test pictures with this Echo speaker here. And I have figured out that my ideal height is just sort of below my chest and just above my abs what's left of them anyway so i can have my if my phone if this is my phone let me get the dummy phone where's the dummy phone i can't find it but here's my phone what i'm enjoying is putting my elbows down and i'm just taking the pictures i can rest the phone on the table so it keeps the same spot every time i take the photo instead of me sort of leaning over and trying to like hover around I can just really get into it. My back is fine and I'm feeling good. Really, really happy. I am tempted to get a little slip mat in the cover here just to create, just to change the colour of the table. I might even put my old um, piece of wood on top just in this section here where I'm taking photos because I like the colour of that. But you can just change this. You can put any piece of wood on it that you want. If you want your own custom tabletop, you can do that as well. You can do what you want. You can go to Ikea and buy a new top and change it. That's what I've seen other people doing. I don't need to, I like this. So I was correct, I'm a genius. I've decided to, let me just show you. I've added my old tabletop to it. And as you can see, the difference in the size, that is what I was working on before. Tinsy, tancy, tiny. It worked, it did the job, but this is just far more superior. So I've put this down here for me to take my photos on because I like the contrast between the lighter and the grey. The bamboo and the grey doesn't really work. So that's perfect for me. And I've got all this extra space here. Packing is going to be so much easier. I can constantly have my scales out and my little trinket box. Just more space to work from, more going on. Very, very happy indeed. So yeah, so this is my ideal. I can rest all my weight on my elbows here while I'm working instead of resting all of my weight on the small of my back cracking great fantastic so this was always going to be a honest review and honestly i think the table is fantastic the table like, like i've said before the table that goes up it's a table that goes down it goes up it goes down and it's the table and it's quality 
if you go ahead and purchase a table, I'm not on a commission basis. They sent me the table to review and I was allowed to give my honest review. If I didn't like it, I was allowed to say I didn't like it, but I get no kickback after that. So sending you to their website to go and check them out has no beneficial impact on me, but I really suggest you do and go and take a look. Price wise, it's an outlay to begin with, but it's going to be worth it in the end. Finally, we have the table. That saga is over and done with. Now we just need to move on to whatever the next saga is, don't we? There'll be something. Thank you for watching. I appreciate your time and your patience with this one. As always, please do consider liking the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you on the next one. Love you. Bye. I'm so easily pleased, it's unreal.